Well, England did a typical England and uh, bottled it right at the end. But for once, we actually deserved to win. We played fantastic football and uh, it was a looping header in the last couple of minutes. Russia literally had one other shot on target and that was straight at Joe Hart. They had a shot that went just wide, but England dominated. But this is what happens when you have a defensive coach with an attacking team. Like the amount of options we've got up front... And uh, I know he's getting credited for playing what most people think are more forwards. But the thing is, we played a 4-3-3 and we pushed Lalana as a winger. And fair play, he played very well today. I'm not going to deny that. But we played a 4-3-3. He's brought five strikers. Even though Rooney, you can class him as a centre mid now. He's barely going to play as a striker for Man United or for England very much. So he can be counted as a midfielder. So you've got four strikers and he plays one. And uh, Harry Kane didn't have the best game of his career, but it's largely down to the tactics we deployed. We we did try and get in early crosses, and uh, they they just kept going like one foot just uh, out of reach. But Harry Kane, like you could see, he was struggling. So just take him off. I mean, we've got Sturridge, we've got Vardy, we've got Rashford on the bench, and he just didn't use them. And then when we go one nil up. He takes Rooney off, and I'm a Man United fan, but I'm not being biased. Like Rooney was the dictator in midfield. He was everywhere, and there's every chance he might have been on the line to stop that corner from going in right at the end because he's, he's done it for Man United he, he, uh, in the FA Cup. Finally, he burst back and managed to head it away off the line. So he, he was everywhere, and I'm not disagreeing. Bring Wilshire on, fair enough, but just take someone else off. Deli Ali wasn't amazing. He was solid. But you could have taken him off. You could have taken Sterling off earlier instead of replacing him with uh, Milner. By the end of it, we deployed a 4-1-4-1 with uh, Milner and Lalana as right mid and left mid, not wingers. And then Harry Kane was completely isolated. So, like, I know we went defensive and all that uh, when you 1-0 down. But it, it's just so irritating. It's just typical England. Like, we're, we're used to disappointment, but I suppose we've already levelled what points total we had in the World Cup, uh, one, yay, but uh, it, it, optimism, there was a lot of positives, a lot of brilliant performances from players, Wayne Rooney had a solid game, Kyle Walker, in my opinion, was probably, I'd say it's between him, Rooney and Lana for man of the match, Dyer scored the goal from the free kick, obviously he had a very, very solid game as well, Cahill made a great clearance early on, Smalling was solid against, uh, is it, is it Juba? Is that how he says uh, his name? The six foot five striker Russia have up top, but very very promising from England, but just not enough, not enough, uh, f well, not enough of the final product, and that's generally down to tactics. I think uh, the players played very well, but Hodgson got his tactics wrong, in my opinion, and uh, hopefully we can try and play two up top next time. I mean, the problem is. <sighs> 4-3-3, fair enough, but we just don't have enough wingers. I know Lolana played very well as a winger, but it would have been better to utilise him in midfield, maybe. And we've got a lot of midfielders. I know there's problems here and there, but you have to be doing better. You just you just have to. You can't be leaving three strikers on the bench. Like, what, what is the point in bringing them all if you're benching three? And you didn't even use any. I, Vardy would have been subbed on had we hadn't scored. Had we hadn't scored? That phrase, but anyway, yeah, like he would have came on, but we scored, so obviously we made more defensive-minded substitutes. But enough complaining. I mean, I'm gonna remain optimistic. It is a killer blow. Like in the last couple of minutes, it's horrible. The fans for Russia in the stadium, the ones that attack the England fans, is just ridiculous. I know England um, caused some riots. The fans, I'm not denying that in Marseille, and uh, there there was brawls and there's reports. Some saying Russia started it, but before that, um, where England were just causing mindless hooliganism, uh, hooliganism is that is that a word? But yeah, like a, a very small minority, but still, it, it's just it's just not in football. Like, what, what? Why do you go to a football game just to just to do that? Like, you're not a fan. It, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, uh, one one, not a fair result. Uh, England should have won, but it might be enough to get through because a lot of third place teams, I think, go through this time because of the new system. So um, Wales won. <sighs> they they look likely to qualify now. All they need really, realistically, is a point against England or Russia, and they're effectively through. So uh, well done to them. 58 years since they've last been in it. That's our next opponent, and uh, I'm confident if we play the way we did with a different system. 
I think we'll get the point. Even though Wales played very well against Slovakia, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, hopefully we just don't go out in the group stage. I mean, come on, we've had too much disappointment. Let's be optimistic.